Oops, but don't even record this. I don't even Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Um, this is just full of a bunch of stuff that me and Dylan did, and it's really random, but I hope you guys like it. Oh. My. God. It's massive. I'm so proud of myself, of us. to just see if we could redo it and make it a lot better for fun and so we sanded it down it was really gross yellow color on top and it was not cute and it does not match our furniture in our apartment at all so first we sanded it down really good So this is where we started to stain. Um, we picked out this color. We kind of wanted a grayish brown. And um, Dylan kind of went a little bit too heavy handed on the stain. We didn't really know that it would stain that fast. Um, and so we ended up having to kind of sand down after we stained it all. You'll see it in a later clip and kind of fix it. It ended up fine in the end, but um, yeah, we didn't really know what we were doing, so. So this is when we did the second layer of stain after we sanded it down a little bit because some parts were uneven. And so after we did this, it ended up pretty much fine the next day. And after this, you'll see the clip of it all done. We're going to end up changing the legs and we ordered them off of Amazon. And I had an issue where it like got 
got damaged while shipping here, so we had to order new ones, so we didn't get them yet. But we're going to have different lights on the table, so you'll see that later. The next day... And this is when we put the clear coat on. Um, the direction said to do it three times, so you put the clear coat on, sand it down, um, put it on, sand it down, and let it dry in between all those, of course. And then, um, yeah, that was pretty much it. And then you'll see the final products hopefully soon, and maybe the next vlog. We're hiking Table Rock. And I'm about to die, because I also did legs today. And this is not going to be enjoyable at all, but it's happening. <laughs> Come on, Dylan. Oh, yeah. Oh, my phone. Thanks. Oh, my God. I don't even know why. <laughs> like, look at how high up we are, ER. <sighs> did my friend Michaela's makeup for her birthday um, and then we also went to dinner afterwards and it was super fun so you just see me filling in her eyebrows first and I just used the NYX um, eyebrow powder and I believe this is in yeah dark brown slash brown and so I just filled them in lightly some concealer um, to carve out her brows and I'm using the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define so I use that on the top of her brows and also underneath just to get rid of any uh, mistakes underneath or above. I put this concealer all over her lid just to set a base and then I also take powder to it to make sure none of the eyeshadow that we're putting on top of the lid is going to stick. Now I am going in with the Jaclyn Hill palette and I started with the color, um, I believe, Creamsicle? Yes. After I used the shade Creamsicle, I ended up going into Cooter, and I used that on their outer edge, and then I also blended it into the crease to just make it all blend together. In this clip, you'll see me go into the Renaissance palette from Anastasia, and I just used that light fur shade in the palette called Tempera to just blend out her brown brow bone and just make all the colors blend together at the top really well. Then I took a little bit of a darker shade called Mocha and I just focused that really on the outer corner um, of her eye. Here you see me starting to cut crease. So I used the same concealer as I used um, the first time on her eyes and I kind of just carved that out. And then once I kind of figured out the shape, 
Of course, I took the powder tape again, make sure it doesn't stick to anything, and then blend it out with the same shades that I used before. I think I used uh, clear again, and blended out the concealer and connected the shadow and then the concealer. So you don't want to have that line in between. It should look pretty seamless. After that, I used a couple darker colors on the edges, um, again, just to clean it up. I think I used Central Park and then Soda Pop, and then I cleaned up the edges of her shadow. And this, you see me going in with primer. I use a Smashbox primerizer. I really like this primer. Um, Michaela has, like, the best skin I've ever seen, so um, it's super easy to do, like, any kind of base makeup on her. And... Um, she has pretty normal skin, so I was doing more of a glowy look since it was her birthday. After that, I used the Benefit Professional, and then I also used the Glow Starter um, Primer as well. And then I used the NARS Radiant Long Wear Foundation on her too. I used the same concealer on her face and then um, the powder I was using was the Cody Airspun powder and I used that under her eyes and then after I do her contour you'll see me use that same powder underneath just to clean up the contour and I used a darker concealer that same revolution um, concealer in a darker shade just to do a cream contour to kind of set the base it a lot softer and it kind of just looks more natural too I used the Becca and Chrissy Teigen um, collab, so I don't know if you can get this anymore, but there's some similar shades from Becca and bronzers that you can use. So it's kind of a glowy bronzer, and um, I really like it. Now I did a little bit more contouring with a cooler shade, and I used the Anastasia Contour Kit. Here you'll see me going with blush, and this is MAC Peaches. So first the highlight, I took the Cover FX Drops in the color Sunlight. So I used a little brush and I barely used any and then blended it out with the sponge on both sides. And then I also took another highlighter and used that as well. I used the Anastasia highlight and um, this was a collab with Amrezy and it is such a good highlighter. You might still be able to get it, I'm not sure. Now you see me just putting some shadow underneath her eyes just to give some definition and I just used the same shades as on top. I used Pooter and I think I also used a mocha on the outer edges. Now you see me going in with a lip liner. I used the NYX um, Suede Lip Liner in London and then for lipstick I used the Liquid Lip from Anastasia in the color Pure Hollywood. And then, of course, after that, I sprayed her with the Morphe setting spray. Thanks, guys, for watching this video. If you watched the whole thing, I really appreciate it. Um, here's the full makeup look, and I hope you guys enjoyed the whole video. Thanks. See you guys next time.